Hi class, so for my presentation I decided to uh, talk about the Lorax and as you can see on the first slide this is just title screen from the film. Um, I chose the Lorax for my presentation for a few different reasons. Uh, for one, it is one of my kids favorite movies. Um, the movie's pretty entertaining and as far as environmental science is concerned uh, the movie as a whole is really about the environment and preserving it. Um, beginning with the lack of fresh air and the, the absence of trees in the film, uh, it touches base on some really important environmental topics. And moving on to the next slide, uh, so I'm interested in how the Lorax relates to environmental science because it does a really good job of teaching its audience, which in this case are children, um, how the lack of sustainable development can lead to terrible things in nature. And it does that while also being entertain entertaining for kids, which I think is really important. Um, you know, kids don't want to watch a film that is boring, but it's good that it has the environmental consciousness in the background. Really, it's not in the background. It's in the forefront of the film. Uh, and I think there are just very few movies, in my opinion, that uh, do a good job in both departments of being entertaining and informative. Uh, moving to the third slide, you'll see uh, the global goals for sustainable development. And sustainable development is one of the major topics that uh, the Lorax touches on. Um, the sustainable uh, development and uh, deforestation are kind of the main ones that it talks about. And sustainable development is... Um, economic development that is conducted without the depletion of natural resources, which is really important because if you don't give renewable resources time to renew themselves, then they can't help you. And if you don't take care of nature, nature can't take care of you. Um, moving to the fourth slide, you'll see a picture of the Lorax, and that is uh, the first tree that is cut down. Um, and that's how it starts. So, you know, as with everything else, the idea for the product of the need, which is what the onceler, who is the main character, or the storyteller of the film, uh, creates. He created a product. And it started off small, uh, but as the demand increased, uh, the onceler begins to produce more and more until he's out of resources and he can no longer produce anymore because the truffle tree, which is what is used to make the need, which is also the tree that was cut down, in this uh, picture is pretty much extinct and the, pretty much the whole movie tells his story and how he pretty much single-handedly caused all the problems that are present and it all started with you know started really small with just one tree but greed took over and he needed a uh, more and more until there was nothing left to take um, moving to the fifth slide so there aren't really any obvious or overt terminology in the film that's used, but the movie as a whole alludes to the idea, idea of sustainable development and um, ecocentrism and how you need to be conscious of everything around you and the environment around you. And you're pretty much we're not the only people here and how the one slur kind of just takes advantage of the environment itself. Um, and that's kind of what the Lorax is. The Lorax is kind of a conscience because he he speaks for the trees because they don't have tongues, uh, is what he says in the film at one point. So going to the sixth slide, um, the effects on humans in the movie are pretty obvious. Uh, the very beginning of the film, they kind of pan in on the city. And there's a billboard for O'Hare Air, which is what we have here. Um, and that's pretty much a guy selling air because there aren't any trees left in the world to filter out the carbon dioxide. And so, I mean, the air is full of pollution. So they've got to buy air in order to uh, have fresh air to breathe. Um, and again, on the seventh slide, the effects on animals are pretty over overt as well. Uh, at one point in the movie, the Lorax makes a comment about how the Onceler is destroying the habitat for the animals, and he goes as far to have the as to have the animals move in with the Onceler. So this picture is a picture of one of the bears that moves in, and he's 
hanging out in his refrigerator just eating sticks of butter. I thought it was pretty funny. Um, going to the eighth slide, uh, this is the factory that created the uh, its needs. Um, as you can see, it's creating a lot of pollution. Um, and with the lack of the truffle trees, the air was full of pollution because the trees could not filter out any of the pollutants. Uh, it also turned everything into kind of a giant dust bowl that wasn't part of the town. Um, you know, we can only assume that it, it's because uh, they don't say that this is what it is, but the lack of ground cover created erosion, kind of like what happened during the Great Depression when, when the dust bowls then. Um, So, moving on to the ninth slide. Uh, this right here is the last truffula tree seed. So, to uh, kind of solve the problems, uh, the oncer sees the error in his ways, and he gives the last known truffula seed uh, to the main character so that he can plant it. Um, and people are trying to, well, really O'Hare, uh, is trying to take the truffle seed because if people realize that, you know, uh, trees are important and that they are also beautiful, then he will be out of a job and out of money because he can't sell fresh air if we have something that creates fresh air for us. And this is eventually what happens. Uh, he actually plants, he's running and the tree ends up getting planted and kind of grows and people start singing and whatnot as goes with every other Dr. Seuss film. But, uh, yeah, so pretty much it all, the solution starts with just replanting more trees. Um, and on to the 10th slide, that's just really the only reference I used for the film was, uh, the movie itself. Um, everything else is kind of, by watching the movie, you kind of gather this information. Um, but, yeah, that's the end of my presentation. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you.